Good day, Ralph's Analyst James here, and it is currently Wednesday, July 3rd. Happy 4th of July. We hope everyone had a good weekend. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the ocean conditions from the west coast of Florida, along Alabama and Louisiana, and into the east coast of Texas, uh, where you may have uh, experienced some of these conditions if you had gone offshore this past weekend. Overall, the biggest thing to keep an eye on in the coming weeks is to watch the continued westward movement of Hurricane Barrel that is currently forecasted to head into the western Gulf of Mexico this coming weekend, making landfall just south of the Texas-Mexico border early next week. As a result, some of these oceanographic features may change considerably over the next uh, few weeks, particularly in the western Gulf but there is also some potential impacts to loop current as Hurricane Barrow makes landfall in the Yucatan. One thing to take note is uh, the loop current itself looks like it may have uh, been cut off uh, from the uh, area between Yucatan and Cuba. Uh, this is especially shown in our ocean color imagery. You can see currents moving northwest from Cuba uh, and heading off from the Yucatan here. Staying in the uh, western Gulf, we continue to observe uh, quite a bit of warmer, greener water moving offshore uh, to the southeast of Aransas as filaments of this warmer, greener water continue moving northeast from about the Texas Canyon area near the Mexico-Texas border. Uh, as you can see here, this eddy is moving to the north, or filaments moving to the northeast. Occasionally, some of these smaller little eddy formations uh, as they strengthen, they bring some of the cooler, bluer water uh, northwest, uh, helping the uh, fishing in that area. Uh, as these eddies strengthen, they bring a little bit of clean, uh, cooler, bluer water along the north-northwestern edges, helping improve billfish and mahi fishing. Uh, towards the 38 Special to Los Cuantes Basin and La Palma Dome area, depending on how far off these eddy formations are moving. Additionally, you can see another one of these eddies forming up uh, just off of Mexico and several smaller ones further south moving to the north northeast. Uh, additionally, you can see a larger counterclockwise rotating eddy formation in this ocean color imagery shown here. This larger counterclockwise rotation uh, is bringing some of this bluer and cooler water back northwest off of the Flower Gardens area uh, between the Texas to Louisiana area offshore. Staying with our ocean color imagery, we continue to observe cooler blue-green to blended blue water moving northwards from the Yucatan Peninsula area. Uh, this uh, mixed blue-green blended blue water continues to mark the uh, outer boundary of the loop current as it moves in a clockwise rotating direction outside with the warmer bluer loop current water rotating on the inside. And several of these counterclockwise rotating eddy formations continue to mark this offshore boundary or outer boundary of the loop current. However, one larger clockwise rotating eddy formation continues to rotate just offshore of the ledge uh, out of Mobile Bay, uh, just to the southwest of the DeSoto Canyon. This is pulling some of the bluer water uh, into the area off the DeSoto Canyon uh, and south of Mobile before heading offshore from the Pensacola area. Additionally, this rotation is also resulting in some counterclockwise rotating eddy formations moving southeast from Pensacola, moving off of the Florida Middle Grounds and Tampa area. However, this counterclockwise rotation has helped maintain some bluer water inshore off of the Tampa Bay area as well. And just for quick reference, uh, heading back to our uh, SST imagery, you can see the clockwise rotation of the loop current with the uh, other clockwise rotating eddy formation off of Mobile Bay and counterclockwise rotating eddies moving southeast. 
Remember, these ocean conditions are always changing, so be sure to head to rofs.com or call our office at 321-723-5759 to order updated analyses for each of these areas. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 7, and Saturdays as well. Have a good day.